everyone welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on today's video as you can see i'm doing another vlog today i really enjoyed doing them last week and i did ask for your guys feedback and you seem to want more so my plan is to try and do these maybe every week every other week i'll see how i get on and today just i am working again today but in my breaks i've got to do a few bits i think on lunch i'm going to nip into town i need some plant pots so i thought well i'll take you with me and maybe we'll go pound stretcher because i have a feeling they had they had nice plant pots in last year but i've not been in there this year so i want to go and have a look and then just whilst i'm here just introducing before i start work i thought i'd show you my outfit so i've got this um top on from new look that i got at christmas and then i'm wearing you remember those jeans that i showed you last week i've literally got them on again because they're just so comfy they're the tesco comfort mom ones and to be honest i literally went in the wash and then they came straight back out and i was wearing them because they're so comfy and i thought i'd also mention i nipped into town oh, it was so nice to go shopping again i went really really early in the morning i went at eight o'clock actually because our primark opens an hour before all the other shops and thought well if i get there for eight it'll be quiet and then by the time we're going it'll start getting busy which it did so it was quite nice actually having a mooch around but i did nip into super jug and i did pick up this revolution matte um gone rogue lipstick now if i get any questions about what lipstick i'm wearing it's this one and they've changed the packaging of it so actually i don't know maybe it's a different product because it was called a lip creme before but it feels exactly the same on the lips it's even though it's matte it doesn't feel too drying or so sometimes when it's really matte it can almost feel a little bit powdery on the lips whereas this actually feels really nice it's just a really beautiful red color and it's not a bright red at all it's more of like a brownie red and that's what I absolutely love about it because it just makes it a little bit more wearable in the day. And I like to have a little bit of colour on my lips. I don't know why. I don't know if you guys feel this. But as I've got older, I feel like my features have become less and less, how do I put it, like distinct. Like the, I feel like my lips have got paler. My eyelashes have got paler. So now I feel like every day I just like to put a little bit of lip colour on. And then, I don't normally wear eyelashes for work by the way, but I thought I'd show you what these ones look like. I've gone back to the Intense Primark ones um, with my under eye glue. And I have to admit, I think because the band is so thin on these, that it does look a little bit better when I blink. They're less visible than the pound shop ones that I bought previously. And also with these ones, money saving here, their eyelashes are so long, actual, like from side to side are so long. When I cut them in half, it's still a decent amount of a lash on each eye. And I like these ones, they're a little bit longer, which I feel like you have to have slightly longer ones when you put them on underneath. And they're still very fluttery and quite natural, even though they're called intense. I do feel like these are quite natural. So yeah so anyway i'm gonna to go to work probably go and get a cup of tea before i start to be honest light my candles and then i'll see you in my mid-morning break i think i didn't go down to the greenhouse yesterday and i'm assuming these these plants need watering <laughs> to see you in a bit hi guys i'm on my mid-morning break now so i think i'm gonna have a cup of tea but before i do that i'm gonna show you the update to our garden so we took the shed down at the weekend well my husband did and his friend because luckily his friend needed a shed and to be fair this the shed was in pretty good nick apart from all the spiders obviously um but yeah it was in pretty good nick so he just took it down to take his house to put up and it's quite good because it meant it was a little bit easier for us to get rid of as well i'll show you what's left because i just don't oh it's just a bit tricky let me show you We've been left with this. So there's a mixture of slabs. Ignore the bricks though, they weren't there. Um, we just bought a chimney from b and I can show you it actually. It might be in the shed, the new shed. And that was very good and we did it at the weekend. However, it's on a tripod which wasn't very sturdy and we did knock it over when there was a fire in it. So we put those around it to just help it be a little bit more sturdy. Yeah, so there's like a mixture of stones random piece of wood and cement now the cement's kind of too high to just be able to put some like weed cover on and throw some gravel over the top so i think that's what we're doing with this area so yeah we've got to think about how we're going to get rid of that because it's quite a big chunk of cement and then i just thought i'd show you how the greenhouse is doing i didn't water it yesterday so it needs a good water but my husband did buy me some 
carrot plants. They were in um, B&Q, I think they were reduced to like 50p. And then he also bought me a little snap pea plant as well. <laughs> Do you know what, this is what it's come to now. Like I'm really excited about getting plants and also a proper bag of soil. So the first lot of um, seeds I planted wasn't in soil that was good for planting seeds. So he got me this one. I think it was 3 99 but you get quite a big bag. So yeah, I've planted a few more. I've also planted some spinach. I need some lollipops though, because this is actually just the outer of a McDonald's cup. I just don't feel like it's gonna last very long with the water in. But yeah, that's all of them there. Nothing's popped up yet though, because obviously these were planted wrong and I have no idea what I'm doing really. I'm just kind of winging it, so hopefully it'll work out. But I've been recycling loads of things, as you can see, I've got like a strawberry punnet. <laughs> I think this had like roast vegetables in. I put holes in, obviously. Yogurt parts, McDonald's cups. So, yeah. Yeah, so the chimney that we bought from BQ, it was 45 quid. It's freaking awesome. Absolutely loved it. We were looking for a fire pit and there was one on Argos that we really wanted. I think it was about 120 pounds. I've been really lucky because I've been where I work for a certain, a certain amount of time, a long time now. <laughs> um, I got an ex, I got like a, a voucher. Was it a one for all voucher or something? So I was going to use that on it. However, we looked one week and was like, yeah, we're definitely going to get that. And then literally like a couple of days later, it had gone. And then we went to the range, went to Wix's, went to B&Q. And we just really, really struggling to get a fire pit. So, um, where's it go? Yeah, B&Q. So my husband went into B&Q, found that chimney, it was 45 quid. We wanted a fire pit because we wanted to do food on it as well. However, we do have a barbecue. So we thought, well, it kind of looks nice. I like the grey colour of it. I insert some pictures if I haven't already of what it looks like. Um, I can't get into the shed at the minute because it's locked, but yeah. I definitely recommend having one if you haven't had, you know, haven't got one in your back garden because we had marshmallows on it. I mean, marshmallows toasted are just next level, aren't they? Like, it was the first time I've tried them and I was so impressed. Like, I was like, we're definitely doing this next weekend. The only thing is that you do smell of smoke, so it's not like you can do it every night of the week, but it's a nice treat on a Saturday. <laughs> and right, I'm gonna have my cup of tea. I think I'll have a snack. I'm so hungry. I just, I don't know what it is. I think I'm having one of those hungry days today. I'm gonna have a snack and then I'm gonna go and do some more work and then I'll see you at lunchtime. <laughs> Look at this girl chilling out in the sunshine. <laughs> Hello guys, so it's lunchtime now and I've just had a very quick lunch. It was one of those cheese and broccoli pasta things. I actually really like them. I just throw a few frozen peas in there. But now I wanna head to Pound Stretcher to get some plant parts because I've got those carrots growing that need moving over i think that sweet pea will probably need moving over too fingers crossed the tomatoes and the spinach and the gypsophilia workout we'll need more plant pots for them however i do want to get plant pots that are nice so i'm gonna head to pound stretcher because last year our pound stretcher had lovely plant pots i think but i can't remember if they were big or if they were just small ones so i want to go and have a look but if not i might end up at b&m so um i'll take you around pound stretcher for sure depending on how busy it is um and then maybe i'll pop to be an amazon depending on how successful i am
guys so pound stretch was really successful they had so many nice garden bits in actually i could have spent a small fortune and they had some really good homeware stuff as well i managed to get a few clips of the shop but i'm used to going like when i do my come shop with me it's when it's like nearly closing time or really early in the morning so i was just like super conscious and there's not much room in those aisles down there and the gardening aisle is quite busy as well so i've got a few clips hopefully you enjoy those but i'll show you what i've got anyway The first, oh yeah, I'm upstairs by the way because there's literally no surface downstairs that I can show you. Do you know when it's just, your house is just in a state? That is my house today. <laughs> but anyway, um, I picked up these 12 cell, 12 cell paper trays. So you get five in a pack and whenever I see people doing like greenhouse stuff on YouTube, they always have these to grow their seeds in. Um, I've just been using the cup style ones of these and also any old recycling that I can find that will fit um, <laughs> fit a seed in or a few seeds in. But I thought I'd get some of these and feel a little bit more professional. I did also get these hanging baskets. I absolutely love these. So you can see actually the theme is very much like the theme in the house, like greys, different shades of grey, whites, blacks and then like neutrals as well so the wood i just love it i just really love these baskets quite heavy actually they were 5.99 and they'll go over a shed somewhere over a shed over a fence somewhere yeah two of those and then i got this this was the deepest pot that they had in i was thinking that'll be all right for my carrots but now i'm looking at it i'm thinking is that going to be deep enough and maybe not even big enough for all the carrots that I've got. Let me know if you guys know how deep does your pot need to be for carrots. But I have got some bigger ones of these in the back garden. But they've got my fake topiary balls in at the minute. But obviously my carrots take priority. So I can totally just switch this out for them if I need to. Um, yeah, maybe I can put the topiary ball in there. I don't know. And then I got this one. Because this is, I don't know, I feel like it's a good in between like the black and the natural. It's a black pot but they've done like a painted brush effect just to make it a little bit lighter. It looks like a wooden barrel. It is plastic. This was, oh I think that one was... Let me have a look at the receipt. It doesn't actually say which one's which on the receipt. I'm guessing that was $3.49. I think this one was $2.99, which actually I don't think is bad for that size of pot. It's got holes in the bottom already as well, which is so handy. I hate having to drill holes in. But yeah, we've got a clamp pot that holds our logs, massive version. You've probably seen them in B&M and they're black. And I thought that would look nice next to this one. Has this one got holes in? Oh! <gasps> Oh, no, it hasn't. That's annoying. I thought it did then. <laughs> this one does, though. And this is my biggest one that I got. And I just absolutely loved it. So it's white with black speckles on and this rim round. Again, this looks like a pot plump pot, but it's not. It is plastic. Um, but, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, fingers crossed these tomatoes turn out, you know. I really want fresh tomatoes because they just, well, homegrown fresh tomatoes because they just taste so much, be so much better than the supermarket. Um so yeah i got one of these as well and you know what it's making me want to go to the garden center to get some plants michelle's recommended that i get a strawberry plant because apparently they're quite easy to keep alive so i might go to the garden center at the weekend and pick one of those up and save one of my pots i did also get these sink colanders which i thought were going to be amazing so it says they're only 1.99 but actually on the receipt they're 2.29 so i imagine they've just been in the store for ages and nobody's bought them but my plan for these isn't to use them in the sink. So if you've seen the clips of my mini greenhouse, you'll know that the shelves are like a wire mesh and they've got quite big squares. Some of my cups kind of like fall in between and it makes them lopsided. So I thought, how perfect are these to just slot on the shelves? They've got holes in already and they're also kind of dipped as well. So if I put anything up the side, if any water like comes out, it'll drip out. I just thought that was handy for my green hour. So yeah, I'm well chuffed with those. So that was it for this little haul. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I've got to go back to work. <laughs> got to finish my like, last bit of work off now. And then I'll catch up with you in a bit because I'm actually going out for dinner later. I'm so excited to be going and having a proper, I was gonna say pub lunch, it's not lunch, it's a dinner, but I'm going with a friend and it's gonna be so nice to catch up properly. We did do a couple of walks. I don't know, it's just not the same though. We like have, we're one of those like pairs that we can just sit and chat for hours. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to 
finished that and I'll catch up with you in a bit because I need to pick my outfit out. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. Right then guys, I need to choose my outfit for later. Do you know what? I kind of like the outfit that I've got on, like the little pink blouse and little jeans combo that I've got on. Problem is though, we're going out for dinner this evening. It's going to be seven o'clock, the table's bought four and I know it's going to get cold. So we asked, um, the restaurant like restaurant it's more like a pub but it's like a nice pub do you know what i mean if there was heaters outside and there isn't so it's gonna get so chilly and we're the type of people who will probably chat till about 10 o'clock so i'm gonna pick my outfit but i feel like i'm gonna have to wear something that's layered because i think oh gosh so if it gets really bright i'm just going in the window i think it's um about 15 degrees now or 16 degrees now but obviously it will drop to like i think it's 12 11 um by about eight o'clock so i need to have a browse in this wardrobe and see if i can find something suitable so oh, you know me i love a blazer <laughs> do you know what this necklace is so old by the way it's from i think it's from h&m I mean, it's not very in fashion anymore, but does anybody else have pieces that they just cannot, like, throw away? I just loved it when I got it, and I just remember, same with this one, actually. This is a really long necklace, and I'm kind of just waiting for the time that they'll come back in fashion. <laughs> anyway, I've got, like, a few clothes. Like, this blazer was from H&M. You've seen it in a haul if you've been watching my videos for quite a while. And I feel like that hasn't had enough wear, so I might wear that. I've also got a leather blazer that's, like, not pretty much seen the light of day so again i might wear that but actually i'm gonna have to wear boots aren't i because i can't really wear shoes so i feel like i'm gonna have to go with skinny jeans because i don't feel like mom jeans go with boots and if they do i don't know which ones they go with so i think i'm gonna wear black skinnies and then top wise i have no idea i feel like it's gonna be a jumper i think we're gonna go with the checked because i think i might go for a black jumper or a cream jumper which will look a little bit harsh with that so let's go check blazer so basically this is what i'm going for i've picked this jumper out does anybody else do this my husband tells me off of this i basically turn everything inside out when i'm taking it off <laughs> and now if he puts my clothes away he pretty much refuses to turn it the other way i mean i do it with all my clothes it doesn't matter where it's top or bottom and i've just got some jewel um gold jewelry on this is new and this is new and if you are interested there'll be a video primark call yay going live oh let me come round Sorry, I just realised she's just staring at those clothes on the bed. Um, if you are interested in this jewellery, there will be a Primark haul going live on Sunday. This should be up Friday. Fingers crossed I can get this edited in time. And um, all the details and the discount code will be linked in that video. So make sure you check that out if you are interested. I was so excited to go back into Primark and just go shopping and it feel normal. I did go really early. I think I mentioned it this morning though, so I won't like <laughs> keep going on about it. But yeah, with those clothes, I think I'm just gonna throw on, I have to put a coat on because it's gonna get so cold. And I've got one of those, um, you know, these massive checked scarves that can pretty much double up, double up as a blanket. So I'm going to take that as well so I can be super cosy. I'm somebody who gets cold really quickly and I do not like being cold. So I will, yeah, I'll be, I'll be wrapped up. now and I completely forgot to sign off this video I had a really lovely time out having a nice meal I think I captured the drinks and the dessert but I completely forgot about the main I had the steak and it come to the table and you know you just literally devour it so it was so nice so yeah I really enjoyed that I was gonna edit a video tonight but to be honest I'm just so tired that I think I'm gonna leave it and do it tomorrow I hope you've all had a fabulous day and I shall see you in my next video thank you for watching as always bye bye Thank you.